Practically everyone I know wants to heal something, myself included. You might want to heal a broken heart or your fears or a lack of confidence. Maybe you're hoping to heal a relationship with someone or maybe your relationship with money or your relationship with yourself. It could be a physical condition. Maybe it's something that you've been living with for a long time or maybe this is something that has cropped up relatively recently in your experience. Whatever it is, we all have something we want to heal. And if that change or shift or healing doesn't happen quickly, it's easy to fall into a familiar pattern of thought. What's wrong? Why isn't this happening? Why is it taking so long? Well, in this video, I'm going to share five of the most common reasons why healing seems to be slow or not happening at all. Reason number one is probably the easiest one to fix. And reasons four and five are a lot more common than you might expect. Aloha, I'm David. I'm a co-founder of Lemurian Healing and that guy that talks about everything from a Lemurian point of view. Now, before I talk about the five reasons in detail, I need to share just a little bit of background and put this all into context because otherwise, what I'm gonna say probably won't make <laughs> complete sense. Also, a quick disclaimer, I am not a medical professional and this video is not meant to provide any medical advice whatsoever. So what is healing? Well, in English, the root of the word means to make something whole, to make it sound complete. And in Lemurian healing, we take that concept further and say that healing means to create a new reality that's more satisfying than whatever you're experiencing right now. And this applies to any area of your life. Healing simply means creating a new, better reality. Now, in your quest to create a new, better reality for yourself, I have some very important reminders that I'd like to share with you. First of all, you can heal. It is never too late. Second of all, your path to healing is unique to you. Just because something else or some other combination of things has worked for someone else doesn't necessarily mean that that path is gonna work for you or is even appropriate for you to pursue. So your path to healing is unique. Also, remember that healing is an inside job. At the end of the day, all healing is some form of self-healing, regardless of the path that you end up following. And finally, your higher self, that eternal non-physical part of who you are, is always with you and always guiding you toward the healing you desire. You're never alone. Now, if any of these five reasons, or maybe all five of them, are active in your experience, it's no big deal. Don't despair and don't get down on yourself. We're all human. We're all doing the best that we can. And we all do things that get in the way of our own healing in some area of our life. But here's the good news. You are never stuck with the way things are. Just having a new awareness, just being aware of these five reasons starts to shift your thinking and your awareness and your consciousness starts to evolve. And in that shifting consciousness, your healing moves forward. Okay, here are the five most common reasons why healing seems to be slow and happening or maybe not happening at all. Number one, you're thinking about the past. And when I talk about the past, I'm including everything that's happened in your life up until this very moment because whatever you're experiencing right now is old news it is already manifested. There's nothing that you can do about it. So when healing seems to be happening slowly or not at all, it's easy to start ruminating about all those things that you did or didn't do, or all those things that did or didn't happen. And you start, start thinking about how did this problem come about? How did I get here? And you think about who did what to whom and when. And thinking about the past means you're focused on the problem. And as long as you're focused on the problem, you cannot let a solution come to you. You can't let the solution unfold in your life. And you're probably not just thinking about these things in the past, but you're probably telling stories about them all the time to either yourself or others. So the easiest way to start rectifying this situation is stop focusing on the past, stop thinking about the problem and shift your attention in other directions, which brings us to reason number two why healing seems to be slow. You're probably not spending enough time 
envisioning your bright future. It's not enough just to think and say, I don't want this. I want this to go away. I want this to, you know, not be a part of my life. That's not good enough. You need to spend some time thinking about, okay, what do I really want? What new reality do I want to create and experience for myself? So yes, I am giving you absolute permission to daydream. Daydreaming is so valuable, so important because it allows you to envision a future that you want to create because without that vision, your higher self and the universe doesn't have much to work with. So spend some time thinking about, okay, what kind of new experience do I want? What, where am I heading that is brighter and more fulfilling than where I am right now? And as you think about your new brighter reality that you want to move towards, it's not just about the current, this particular current situation or this issue that you want to heal. As you envision a brighter future about any area of your life, it lifts your vibration. It, it shifts everything in your life. So don't limit yourself to thinking just about this particular situation and what better reality you want to create. Start expecting a brighter, better future in all areas of your life. And as you shift your thinking, as you shift your attention, to a brighter future, you start allowing solutions and answers to come to you. And continuing with that theme, here's reason number three, you're not keeping your vibration high enough often enough. And we all do this. As long as we're focused on the past or the problem, we keep our vibration relatively low. And if we engage in complaining or criticizing or gossiping, all of that keeps our vibration low. And as long as we continue to expose ourselves to things in our environment or influences that trigger negative thoughts and negative emotions, we keep our vibration low and we don't allow healing to happen in any area of our life. So if you're watching the news or TV shows that trigger negative emotions or you put yourself around other people that are complaining and gossiping, as long as you keep those influences in your life and you give your attention to those things, you will keep your vibration unnecessarily low. What's the remedy to this? Well, cut it out. Little by little, practice focusing your attention and your thoughts on things that make you feel better, that bring joy, that are interesting to you. And a little bit at a time, pull yourself away from those things that you know trigger negative thoughts and emotion, whether it's watching the news or being around people that tend to bring your vibration down. Just do it a little bit at a time. What you want to do is do things that make you feel better, whether it's exercise, meditation, reading books, watching uplifting TV shows, whatever it is, start doing things that keep your vibration higher more frequently. All right, reason number four. Now, this one is more common than you might think. You're searching for a magic bullet. You're looking for some kind of magic solution that's gonna make a huge shift and your healing is gonna happen. And that could be a specific medication or supplement or therapy, or it could be you're looking for that, that, that one book or YouTube video or blog article that's gonna, that it's gonna change your life. Well. As long as you're searching, as long as you're actively thinking about, I have to find an answer, I have to find an answer, you're actually focused on the problem. And as long as you're focused on the problem, you can't allow answers and solutions to come to you. The vibration of a question and answer are very different. The vibration of a problem and its solution are very different. And as long as you're focused on the problem, you cannot allow a solution into your consciousness. It's just not possible. They're very different vibrations. Healing is not a problem to be solved. Healing is something that you allow to unfold in your life. So as long as you're trying to wrestle that problem and beat it into submission and find that solution, you're not gonna allow the healing that you really, really want. In your quest to find a solution, you're actually preventing that solution or that healing from coming to you. Okay, reason number five that healing seems to be coming slowly or not at all, and this is way more common than you might think, you simply don't believe that you can heal. Somewhere deep down inside, you don't believe that healing is possible, even though that's what you tell yourself and other people. But as long as you believe that your healing isn't possible, that healing cannot come to you. 
Healing happens when you shift your consciousness, when you shift the way you think to not only believe that you can heal, but you start to expect it. It's no longer a hope or a wish or a prayer. It's a knowing, it's a belief. But even if you don't believe absolutely in your own ability to heal right now, this is something that you can develop. It is possible to develop a new belief. And the easiest way is to ease yourself into it. Don't try to jump from A to Z. Take a small step at a time. You can start thinking, well, I like the idea that this kind of healing could be possible or wouldn't it be nice if I could move past this situation and actually experience your desired outcome. Be gentle with yourself. Be soft. Don't try to, to, to force yourself to adopt a new belief by the end of today. Take it a step at a time. Start getting used to the idea that healing is possible. Wouldn't it be nice if, or I really like the idea of, and start there. As you practice these kinds of thoughts, you will find yourself moving in the right direction, and that's all that you need to do. And as long as you're moving in the right direction, you're moving towards healing. There you have it, five of the most common reasons why our healing seems to be happening slowly or not at all. And as I said, if any or all of these reasons are something that you recognize that are happening in your life, don't get down on yourself, it's no big deal. The good news is, is that you're now more aware of them and your new awareness will start to shift the way you think. You'll catch yourself thinking or telling stories or acting in a way that you know is not beneficial to your own healing. And so you'll catch yourself and you'll stop and then you'll make a new choice. Now that you're aware of them and you have a new perspective, your consciousness will start to change and your reality will start to change. My friend, I'm telling you from my heart, you can heal. You do have the potential to heal. And the big message, overall message here is think less and less about those things that you don't want and think more and more about the things that you do want, about the things that do make you feel good, that do bring you happiness. And whatever that particular situation you have in your life right now that you really, really, really want to heal, maybe one of the best things you can do right now is just stop thinking about it altogether. Just stop thinking about it, stop talking about it, and focus on other things for a while. Focus on things that interest you or inspire you or help you feel better. You can heal, but healing is not something that you force. Healing is not something that you make happen. Healing is something that you allow to happen. I truly believe you have the capacity to heal anything in your life. I do. So do your best to relax and breathe and find ways to allow the healing that you want to unfold in your life. As always, I'd love to hear what you think. So please share a comment down below. Do any of these reasons resonate with you? Or was there some kind of aha moment that you experienced during this video? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me and allowing me to share this information with you. And until I see you next time, I send you my love and light from Lemuria. Aloha.